What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Out West with Chris and today we're going to be talking about a flashlight. The one that's in my hand. And look at that funny shadow of my hair. <laughs> that's great. And we'll probably be giving away at least one of these flashlights. So stay tuned. We're going to dive on into this little flashlight in just a second. Okay, so after the intro, I'm sure you guys can kind of figure out we're going to be talking about a flashlight. That flashlight is actually right here. Um, not that, that's my key fob. Uh, these are my keys. This is actually my everyday carry key setup. I like simplicity. I don't like a ton of keys. I carry a second keychain or have a second keychain with a ton of keys on it. But uh, I prefer for the one that is always with me to be pretty... Um, simple. So this has two keys, car keys, key fob, um, a little ceramic knife, a fire steel, and this can actually spark that. And then I love carrying a keychain light. Um, I, that's how I EDC a light frequently. And I've had a few different ones. The one I'm using now is actually right here. And this was sent to me about a month and a half ago. It's been a long time coming. Sorry to the people at Olight. Um, it's been a long time coming, this, this little review, but I really wanted to get a chance to, to use it, to get to know it, and um, you know charge it a few times, and run the battery out. And so I've been using this uh, quite some time. It's actually not this one, and we'll get to that uh, in a little bit. It was this one. So these lights are the IR1 EOS or EOS. And these guys are a small rechargeable keychain flashlight. We're gonna take this one off and we're gonna start looking at it. So this is the light itself. Uh, it comes with a little little ring on it. If it's gonna be a keychain flashlight, that would make sense. And uh, it's a two-piecer, basically, uh, and it is rechargeable. So you screw that off and you'll see right there, there's a micro USB port right there. And that is how you charge it. It comes with a charging cord from Olight. And one little thing about this, um, you kinda gotta wiggle it in there. It's gotta, it's gotta really snap. You gotta know that it's in there. When the battery needs a charge and while it's charging, um, this lights up red. And once it's done, it switches over to green. Um, it's actually a really quick charge. I've never really like exactly timed it, like kept my eye on when it turned green, but I'm pretty sure it's, you know, depending on how far down you run it, um, it's around a two hour charge. Oh, see, it's in there pretty good. So uh, it pops right out. Um, to operate it, it's just a twist cap. Nothing too fancy. Once you get it on, there are two light modes. Um, there's no clicks, no buttons. It's just a twist cap and you turn. That's your first mode, and that's a, a, a really dim light, actually. It's not like bright, super bright at all. It's five lumens on the low setting, and on the low setting, it, it has a throw of about 13 meters, and it'll run for about seven hours on this uh, with, a, with a battery charge. So uh, this is gonna be great for, you know, reading a map, um, something like that if you're navigating or just opening your door, you know, finding the right key or the right keyhole or, you know, finding something in your car in the dark, um, you know, whatever purpose you would need it for. After that, you just keep twisting a little bit further and boom, it brights up quite a bit. This little light, whoo, geez. This little light is actually pretty powerful. This is a, a fairly well lit room. This little guy is 130 lumens and, and with today's lights, you know, that might not seem like much but for a small little compact flashlight, it's actually quite a bit. So on the high setting, your throw is about 54 meters um, and you can run it for 20 minutes on the high setting. Because it's on my keychain, I actually use it quite a bit just because it's always on me, you know? My keys are pretty much always on me and um, that makes this light pretty much always on me. It's a pretty, pretty nice design. I haven't had any real issues. Um, we will talk about one thing in just a moment. I, I kind of have to explain myself to y'all. One thing I like about it is there is an O-ring right there and it makes this uh, a really nice um, connection. It just feels like it fits really well and that's gonna help uh, eliminate water intrusion 
that type of thing. Speaking of water, it is rated IPX8. I forget what that one is. If it's submersible to three meters for like 10 minutes or something like that, I can't remember exactly. I haven't tested that out. Um, I have dropped it many and many a time just because uh, I always drop my keys, you know. It says it has a, a drop rating of 1.5 meters, so you know, you should be able to drop it from 1.5 meters without having any issues. I've dropped it from around three feet, four feet, numerous times, and no problems whatsoever. I really like this light. Uh, one of the reasons why is because it's so lightweight, and I don't notice I carry it when it's in my pocket. I don't notice it at all. Like, the one thing I notice when I reach for my keys is the key fob. I never feel or notice or anything um, this little light. So it's nice to have um, a, a nice little light like this. Sometimes I will EDC um, like an Olight uh, S2A or a Streamlight Stylus Pro or something like that. Um, and it's nice to have this as a backup um, just on me at all times. So like I mentioned before, it has the built-in lithium ion battery. And for all of you, um, you know, spec geeks out there, it has a Philips Luxion TX LED paired with a TIR optic lens, producing a soft and balanced beam. I just read that off the box. There's one little thing I want to point out. Um, the light on the right is less used than the light on the left. And you'll start to notice on some of the edges, there's a little bit of a wear. Um, you know, the color just kind of starting to strip off just a little bit. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's pretty faint. To me, not a huge deal. It just shows you're getting use out of it, that type of thing. So here's the deal. Um, Olight sent these to me. They, they're not paying me to do this. Um, they sent these two lights. They actually were set, said, hey, we want to send you a light. We'll engrave it with your name on it and, you know, do a review. Tell us what you think. So that's this light. So when they, when they wanted to send that, I said, hey, that'd be awesome. I'm totally down to do that. Um, they were hoping that I'd have it done a little bit sooner, I think. I'm sorry, Olight people. It takes time for me to, to do my videos and reviews and really feel good about what I'm gonna talk about. I said, hey, can you send me two? I'd like to give one away to a subscriber. Um, you know, give them the opportunity to, to get involved in this too. So, one of these is up for grabs. Now when I got those boxes, I opened the wrong one and started carrying it. I totally forgot about that whole engraving thing. My bad. So this one is the one with a little bit of wear and tear. Now I feel bad giving you guys this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'll actually order one for you guys. It's 20 bucks. Um, you know, they're not that expensive. You can get them on Amazon for $20 for this little light. And that's pretty good for a really high quality keychain light. And it's rechargeable, it's got all this stuff. I'm gonna keep the one that says Chris for myself, um, but I do wanna give one of you a brand new one. Instead of just one of these, I won our EOS. Up for grabs, now you got two because I made a mistake. So here's how we're gonna give these away. We're gonna do two little separate giveaways. Uh, one is gonna be an Instagram deal, okay? So for the one that I purchase and send to you guys, um, that's gonna be a brand new, uh, I'm just gonna have it mailed straight to you. Uh, what you're gonna do is go over to Instagram and make sure you are following or like my page or whatever it is. And um, yeah, make sure you're doing that and comment something. Just comment something about Olight. And I will put you in the running to win one of these. Now, the other way is comment down below, be a subscriber, and you'll be in the running to, to win the one that's a little bit beat up. It's not that bad. So hopefully you guys can find some appreciation out of it and use out of it. Um, it. It really isn't that bad. It's still in pretty good shape. So with all of that said, um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Head over to Instagram, at outwestwithchris, all one word. Uh, links in the description below. I'll pick a winner on this in like two days, Thursday. Okay, so we're doing this quick. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great evening. Thanks for getting out west with Chris.